Hello friends, this is Umesh, a founder of BinaryUpdates.com and in this video, I'm going to talk about different job roles and responsibilities that embedded system engineer has when they work in a company as a full-time job. So the first and foremost responsibility that embedded system engineer you will find in industry to perform is the embedded software developer. Now embedded software developer are the people who write an embedded software for the hardware. Usually you will see in industry, many people write their job title as a device driver developer or maybe they write the firmware developer or the graphics card developer or the Bluetooth engineer or something like that. But all they does embedded software developer is they write a software for the hardware. So it's the hardware related software development, what it's called the firmware engineer or firmware developer. And this is the embedded software engineer into the embedded system industry. Then comes the embedded hardware engineer. Now embedded hardware engineer are very much confused with the PCB design engineer. PCB design engineer are usually a printed circuit board design engineer. These are the people who design a circuit board using a tools like uh, Eagle CAD, Altium, Pads, or CAD and stuff like that. They are also very good at simulation tools. So they use a simulation tools like LT Spice, PS Spice, Automotive Spice and other Spice tools, right? So their job uh, embedded hardware engineer or the PCB design engineer, these are the people who design the embedded hardware and they are very good at simulation so that they make sure the hardware that they have designed, the product that they have designed is working fine properly. So that's the embedded hardware engineer or the PCB design engineer. Then in industry, you will find something called field application engineer that is called FAE. These are the people usually work with the customers so they support between the r d and the customer so what happens is when the company create a certain product certain chip uh, in embedded processor embedded microcontroller or maybe a sensor or stuff like that and they go in a market to the customer and then they talk to the customer and then come back into the r d and give the input so they are basically a little bit of a salesman and a little bit of a technologist but fae field application engineers you will find very often and then they recommend a different uh, product different chips to the customers uh, to fulfill the requirement when they work in r d and design some product or the service so that's the FAE. Then you will find a technical sales engineer and marketing engineer. These are the people who take the embedded system product. So embedded system product could be an embedded chip or the sensors or the hardware or the software SDK or whatever it could be. It could be software or it could be hardware. So their job is to design a sales and marketing plan for the product. And this is the responsibility that they carry. You can find out many people out there in a the market and you can study their LinkedIn profile. You could able to get more details about that. Okay, so that's the technical sales and marketing engineer in the embedded system industry. Then in industry, you will find very often embedded test engineer and embedded support engineer. Embedded test engineer are usually the engineer who use a different software test tools and then they test the embedded software. And also they will be very good at the multimeter oscilloscope analyzer and all other, you know, electronics equipment. So they carry out the hardware test as well, not only software test. And then they make sure the testing of the hardware is done properly before that shipped as an embedded system product. So these are the embedded test engineer. Then embedded support engineer. So these are the engineers who support a different product portfolio from the embedded system companies. So what, what happens is when somebody buys certain chips and then they try to use it into the R&D to design their new generation of the product. And then they have some question about their features or maybe what is a possible with that chip. And then they need some technical help in regards to that. So support in, in the form of support. And these are the support engineers you will find a lot in NV Texas Instruments, Intel, Cypress Semiconductor and all of the big companies, they have to have a support engineer to support their product portfolio as an embedded hardware or embedded software, whatever the product that they make, you need a support for that product for your customer to use it properly and integrate it into the product. And then in the end, you will see a technical data sheet writer. I love this job, basically. This is the job, you know, where you have to be highly technical. You have to be very good at embedded hardware and software. You have to be very good at the programming as well. So you can better document all your experiences. So this is not a document just like writing an essay or poem or something like that. This is very highly technical document that you write for your embedded software or embedded hardware in the form of technical data sheet for the microcontroller, processor, or maybe a user 
manual for a particular analog or digital sensors or it could be a content for the marketing it could be very highly technical content because the embedded system engineers are very technical engineers and if you want to sell them something you have to have very good technical documentation so you have to be very technical and you have to very sound understanding of embedded software and embedded hardware in order to become an technical data sheet writer so these are the job roles i have found out in my experience of last 10 years i've been into the embedded system industry for last 10 years uh, across my work in india and in europe when i was in germany so if you find found out something that i forgot and i missed then please put in a comment box and i would be very happy to listen to your words if you are an aspiring embedded system engineer and you want to learn an embedded software or embedded hardware then check out the link in our video description we at binary updates create very high quality professional grade quality content to teach you embedded system and i would be very happy to hop you over phone if you have any question related learning embedded system then feel free to write us or give us a call and i would be very happy to help you learn embedded system i hope you will find this video educational and entertaining we'll see us into the next video. Bye-bye for now.